Hi everyone, welcome to our today's vlog on health and wellness. So today's topic uh, is on um, choosing the right life partner. Now, when the topic says choosing the right uh, life partner, you know you understand that having the you know the right person by your side uh, it's quite exciting, you know, uh, for the rest of your life. Uh, but you know, probably you need to use your. Uh, of course, you have to use your heart, but along with that, you have to use your head as well uh, while you want to choose the right person, right? So once upon a time, when someone's uh, when I was choosing the right person for myself, somebody suggested me, you know, um, maybe before marriage, it's all always a logical decision. Uh, so use your head before getting married, but after marriage, it's all hearts. So, but then I, I think, uh, yeah, so. It's, it's 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 at times it's actually a very logical decision because you're actually uh, gonna spend the rest of your life with that person so what are the things which you want to look while you want to choose the right person for yourself so um first of all you need to know what kind of person you are looking for so as i said someone really suggested me and i said that i i'm kind of looking for a life partner somebody told me you know what uh, just write a list i said list for what so what do you exactly want, uh, what kind of partner you want to have? I said, what should I write in that list? Uh, then he said, everything, every small details, how, uh, you know, especially e everything, even the physical features, right? He, he said me uh, how long, uh, what kind of hair she should have, what kind of uh, eyes she should have, everything. I was like, okay, why should I do that? Basically what he wanted, and I, he said, just do it. I said, after some time I realized, because I should, first of all, I should know what kind of partner I'm looking at. Because otherwise, you never know, I mean, uh, you know, what you're going to get. So, that's basically, once you know what you want, maybe you can't find the exact right match, but at least you should be closer. So, um, well, so these are certain things, so certain traits uh, to find the right person. So, first thing is probably, uh, once you meet the person, uh, you got to talk to uh, talk to him or her for a really long time. So, to understand your priorities. So, I completely understand that two person can't be same, right? Can't can't be completely aligned. But certain basic things, you know, fundamental things, needs to be completely aligned, right? Let's say to have children or not, right? So some people, it's like some people think it's obvious that okay, everybody wants children, but trust me, it is not. Everyone doesn't want to have a children. So it's it's, it's important that you talk to your uh, better half or future better half before getting married that whether your partner is looking for a children. And also like, uh, you know, some people kind of uh, like to have a lifestyle like kind of a swinger, right? I mean, you would see that he's um, staying in uh, probably Euro for two years and then US for three years and so and so. But you might not be the, uh, I mean, the person similar to that. You might be want to stay with more of your, uh, you know, home country with the relatives nearby. So that kind of a thing where it doesn't match, it will be a disaster. It could be a disaster. You, you might be really liking that person. Um, maybe physical appearance or so but then it will be really disaster to stay with that person uh, think about staying with that person for the rest of your life so yeah so this kind of uh, and also compatibility right your thought process okay so what your long-term goals so let's say again I say um, uh, you want maybe say you want to save a lot of money and buy a house right but then I, I as I said before right that other person would be like kind of a swinger so it depends your priorities uh, should match I, I'll discuss more on this um, in the subsequent uh, part of the vlog with my wife uh, what she would have uh, actually tried to figure out honey she wanted to find the right partner and eventually I'll tell you um, maybe uh, what or how you should actually uh, choose the right partner in the concluding part yeah thank you hi Jagrati how are you hi I'm fine how are you I'm good how is your week nice all days right so we are sure this last week we didn't post any vlog because it was good on the gym. That's okay. So um okay, so today uh, we wanna speak about you know how uh, how can you choose your, your right life partner. Mm -hmm. So as far as I know you have also uh, so it's it's you know I know there is no pure logic, there is a not set written rules that how someone can actually find the right partner. But I'm sure everybody has some things in their mind that okay, this kind of partner I want, you know, uh, this kind of partner I should have. 
So what was your strategy or how would you actually figure out? Uh, it was a very difficult place to feel at the life partner. Right. Uh, so I was faced with so many difficulties uh, <laughs> for choosing the life partner. Uh, so if I, if anyone, if anyone go for the arranged marriage or love marriage. Arranged marriage means, uh, love marriage means so you are selecting uh, by person without, partner, being, uh, without taking permission from family. Uh, yeah. So, but if you choose any partner, the same concept you have to uh, More like the same thing, yeah. Uh, you have to follow. You have, yeah. the thing is you want to spend a long time. So, when you, when you will be a uh, teenager that time, so you, are, you will not think about anything, just infatuation, uh, there's some feelings that I think it may not be any feelings. Of it. Yeah. So, um, that is called the love at first sight. First sight. But it, it will not be Sometimes. sustainable for a long time, yes. right. So, so if we think uh, all the things and I, if we think about your future, then when you, if you choose anyone, in the, so first of all the friendship is, so if you go for the last minute, the friendship is required. Mm -hmm. So if, if you know any person uh, who, uh, who is close friend, then uh, you can think about something. Uh, he, is, uh, he or she is my close friend. Yes. So I can think about the, some similar case that they are uh, in between. So, so. Close friend, see, close friend, no, my, my again, understand. No, I'm telling for love, I'm, I'm telling about the love. I understand, I understand. If we, if we consider about the love marriage, then, okay? so first, if we, but the friendship should be there. If you, mm -hmm. friend, why you will, yeah, someone will become your friend? So if any similarities and mental, mental, mentality match is there, then someone will see, be now, what, what I'm saying is, it's, it's absolutely okay. Now, what I'm saying is, close friend is still okay. I mean, you know a lot about the person. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's why you call him a him or her close friend. But I think what is also important to know his priorities. Let's yeah, say. Yeah. The first, thing, first, first, first thing is that yes, he, he or she is my close friend. Right. I can think about this thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Think about that relationship. Huh. It, it will be sustainable for long or not. Right. So for that, uh, the mentality match should mm -hmm. be there. And what is our my priority, what is his or her exactly. priority, exactly. this should be there. Yes, yes. If uh, all the if we think if both are uh, if uh, both long term goal is same, mm -hmm. then we can proceed with this relationship. Yes. Uh, no, mainly long term, short term goal may, may not be same because uh, if you are student or if you are studying in uh, BTEC or MTEC, so short term goal will be a little bit different. But yes. long, long term goal, what is your priority? What is the, your family? What is the priority? What is the main priority for yes. your family yes. or friends yeah, or yeah. career? This thing we have to choose. Right. So if both the things are almost going similar, then you can may become your uh, life partner. This, right. is, this is for love marriage. No, that, that's fair. That's right. fair. Yeah. And for arrangement, it's so there is no concept of feeling. Ah, so okay. you have to think all the things. Very logical. Very logical. Right. Yeah. So for that, uh, main thing is that um, long term goal. Yes. Yeah. So if I am staying in that location, so my husband or my wife. She or he should be in the same location. Okay. It was the long distance for case for case black marriage, the long distance relationship may be sustainable for mm -hmm. case of I think it is not sustainable. If you don't know after marriage also if you're <laughs> staying apart, then that that is not no concept. Okay. And okay. another thing is that what is your priority, family right. or friends? Family, this I think kids, parents. So you want to you okay. want kids or not, and you will stay abroad or in India. Also, you don't stay with parents. parents yeah. If you are staying with the parents, what is your priority or it is the parents' priority that also you have to mm, yes. see uh, this thing. So, a lot of things to discuss. So, I think another also important thing is also like if you are very ambitious in a career, what is, so as you say, what is the priority? So, that things are very important. Mm. So, um, see, both are, both are very much ambitious about career, both are not thinking about their family, right. and both will want to stay abroad, then they are very right. So actually, what, what strategy I use when I'm choosing like partner, at least you know, before that, I made a list, right? If somebody suggested you to do that, what you want in uh, like partner. Did you also make some kind of a list or your parents help you? I didn't, remember. I I just imagine all the things. Okay, imagination. imagination. You didn't have to write anything. Uh, For me, I'm not I, I, Whenever I want to uh, make with a new, pers new person, so I, that time I didn't, I think I thought about it. this, he is not my uh, right person. The, I just matched his quality and his priorities with my imaginations or okay. my priorities. 
But you should have studied shortlist thing before. You know, you are meeting the person. You don't want to meet anyone, right? I mean, yes, that, that, <laughs> that is the idea. That is the idea. So I think, yeah, I mean, if you are clear what I understood is before you know the other person, you should be clear what kind of partner you want, right? Yeah, Once you know, if you don't know, okay, then you will be like always in a mess, right? Yeah. Okay, he's also good, he's also good, everything like that. So. Once but you, you should know about you, what yeah, you want, what is partner. your priority. Right. So that you can. Then you can so many platforms will come and go. But so many people. Uh, so there will be one time the, there will be not time to be there. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, I mean, you should know, I mean, uh, the way. I, mean, I, I sometimes, you know, I heard also when you're trying to find the right partner. Somebody told me it's like, you know, a uh, revolving door, you know. Uh, if you don't know what you want, right, people come in, you don't know who the right person, and then you go and try to talk to another person, that person is already there. He or, he or she will have to find another partner. So it also happens. So if you know, then even when the right person comes, you know that that is also. So if if you don't know you, then you will not answer anyone in a single day. If right. you know yourself, you can understand your life more easily. Could be that person. Single day in five minutes also. Yeah, you know, but then yeah, you have a fair idea because you already have an understanding what you know. Thank you for your time. Uh, I'll, I'll ask my father what are the my tips, what I think is relationship tips that could actually uh, you know yes. is important to find the right partner. Thanks for the nice topic. Nice. Nice topic. Thanks for the Hi, everyone. So, you would have heard from my wife, um, you know, how she thinks, uh, how she'd actually find out her partner. So, she said that it was not so easy for her to find the right partner. So, it's of course a challenge, but that's what the time you take to find the right partner. It, it's always okay because you're going to spend the rest of your life with that person. So, it's absolutely fine to take some time. So yeah, but um, certain things which I can uh, further add to this is probably uh, uh, you got to let go of expectations, right? And of course, you make your you you have your own criteria and everything. But then again, uh, that person might be uh, if you're expecting too much from the other part, uh, from a partner, it's a little difficult. So um, also uh, when when you discuss uh, you know with your partner uh, what are your priorities, what you want, and everything like that, so be honest, right? Um, because if you are not honest, then other person might not be uh, able to know that if you are the right fit for that uh, for that person, right? So it's, it's absolutely honest as much as possible, so that you know the other person also know that if you are the right match, and also you know the other person is the right fit for you. So it's, it's always good to be uh, completely honest. And also um, the the most important thing is you have to uh, you have to always think you have to understand that you have to you should be willing to make some sacrifices. Of course, you are making all the plans. You think that now he or she is the right partner, but trust me. It's not going to be, uh, you know, a cake walk. So there are many certain things you have to be, you have to uh, sacrifice uh, after even after your marriage, right? But yes, you should decide how, to, wh how up to what extent you can go and how much you can sacrifice. But you rest assured that you might or you most likely have to make uh, some amount of sacrifice. Uh, yeah, that's that's probably uh, yeah. Uh, it's one of the few tips. This is the few tips which I can give. But I think. Um, uh, again, the basics and fundamentals of finding the right partner is, is always remain the same that you have to connect with the person. Some some person can connect within even a few minutes of knowing, uh, speaking with the person, but it's important that you connect uh, easily with the person. Uh, yeah, you can be yourself when you, uh, when you, you know, talk to that person, right? So your interest, as I said, your interest makes a huge difference. So uh, there are many other things, but I think uh, the fundamental things are uh, going to be the same. And it, as I said, you can't you can't have uh, two people should not be exactly opposite. There there will be some differences. That's perfectly okay. But more or less, basic interests should be aligned. Uh, so long term goals and uh, priorities should be aligned for both the partners. So yeah, it was nice uh, uh, discussing the whole topic. I hope you liked the vlog and let me know in in the comments what kind of uh, vlogs you want to listen to uh, in the further vlogs. Yeah, thanks a lot.